Hi guys. As you may well know, I'm not sure, I'm hoping you do since you're on this page or this video. My name is Terry from Terry's Tweak Teaks. And I wanted to show you a sofa that I'm working on. It's actually a settee. <clears throat> I have um, started it. I uh, did a little bit of a baby doll pink and I ran out. It's a special paint by Rust-Oleum. So I have to wait and see if I can purchase more. Meantime, to make better coverage, I'm using a gray chalk paint by Wicked Finishes. <clears throat> and that is actually going on very well to help cover the material quicker. And now I'm just taking a spray bottle of water, spraying it, and using like this round brush here, you have, you have um, some made by cheaper companies. You don't have to pay a fortune for them or you can get the better Klingon brushes. But I find that I, I didn't pay a, a whole bunch. I, I don't think this is from um, any special company. I think I got these on sale. But anyway, I spray the brush. Forgive me, I'm a bit nervous. And all I do is mix my paint up a little bit. You just dip your brush in and just brush it in. And the reason I'm doing the gray right now is so I get more of the paint I want as a color choice. But this, the purpose of this is to color the darker material quicker. So the darker the co color, the better coverage it's going to get and I won't have to do as many coats. So you can see where I previously have some of the pink. So as I rub it in, it just covers up the dark color a lot faster, I notice. So I just keep dipping and rubbing, dipping and rubbing. Now, let me show you how dark this color is by moving the camera. Originally, this would be it. See how dark that is? It's a nice, like, paisley, but it's very dark. And this would be some of it that I have worked on already. Sorry, I'm trying to work this camera at the same time as I move around. So this would be some of it I have done. It's like in a shabby pink. So I also painted the wood trim and, and gave it a little bit of distressing as well. Doing horrible holding this camera. So let me see if you can see that. And down bottom, if I could get this camera to bend down, down bottom would be the French leg. Beautiful detail here, which I'll end up distressing also. And it's going to match with a, <coughs> a table I did. And the purpose of doing this is for a church social some ladies are having, and they asked me to sponsor them. So I picked up the settee. It's got a nice, nice thick cushion that goes with it too. Let me see if I can show you that. That's how thick it is. Now that, because it's so thick, the table's in the background over there, that it's going to match. But because it's so thick, I may just end up doing a beautiful material on it and applying applying plywood underneath of it, just cutting it out to the shape of it, covering it with the material, stapling it under, and calling it a day because that will save me a lot of time. Because this sofa here, I have to do the back of the couch, the sides, everything is material. So that really makes it a little tougher. And very time consuming. But I did get this on a great deal. It's mint condition, beautiful condition. I paid $100 for it. 
and we did a sample test, me and my daughter, with a pretty, it's a paisley look, but it actually has a little bit of a tealy green in it with other random colors. And we put that on the cushion to test it, and with the pink, it actually went very pretty. I thought I would like like a pink and white, but I didn't care for it once I put it on the cushion when I tested it. You see now, when your brush starts to get a little dry, just spray it. Maybe get this thing a little bit more water, because the water is going to help soak it in and absorb the paint better and spread it a lot easier for you. See how nice that went on? Look at that one of the hooks. And see, this will be great for your first coverage, and that way your second coat, like if you're going to do pink or another light color, it'll help to cover it up faster. Because these light, if you work with real light colors on dark, it takes more paint, it, a lot more paint. So that's why I'm going to the little bit darker gray. I found that using the lighter color was taking too much paint. And with the shabby paints here, chalk paint, the coverage is excellent right now. It's working great. So down here, I just have the plastic bag there. And that allows you to do it without getting it all over the bottom of the sofa. And when I get done, I'm going to post this on my page, Cherry Sweet Teaks. I have a page on Facebook. Um, I'm going to, you know, set it up with the settee and the table, the pillows. I have a couple chairs, casual sitting chairs to go with it for the church social. So once I have it all done, that's my plan to take a nice pretty picture and post it on my page, show everybody how it came out. The table I did was actually a marble top table with a, if you've heard of Prima, our, they used to be Iron Orchid Design. Now they're, um, what are they? It's not, it's um, redesigned by Prima. But anyway, I used their transfers, one of their beautiful rose transfers on the tabletop, the marble table. And that came out really pretty. So that'll match nice with it, and it'll be a complete set. So anyway, just trying to show you that it is possible, and also it does feel a little rough at first. And my daughter was even shocked when she came over today. She was like, wow, that really feels so much better now, Mom. And all I did was take a soft sanding sponge which I'm sorry I don't have out here at the moment. I should have thought ahead. But I took a soft sanding sponge and just actually sand this. <laughs> Let me go get it for you so you can see how well it works. Away. I'm going on a special project. It's a secret. I'm not allowed to tell yet. So I have my gear packed and ready to go. But when the time comes, I'll reveal it. But anyway, it's a soft sanding sponge. You can get them at any like Lowe's, True Value, hardware stores. You can see how cushiony it is. The, it's not even a grit left on it. It's so smooth. So anyway, I just take it like this. And 
sand it, and when you sand it, it makes it smooth. So, it's not, I mean, it's not as soft as the original material is, but it's, it's not like most people think that rough, crunchy, it's almost like a smooth leather feel, and it holds up well. <clears throat> to be able to sand it like that and not phase it. So when I sand it, I'll go back over it again. I can see some of the impression from underneath coming out from sanding it. So I'll go back over it again with one more coat when I do the final coat and then smooth it out. But you can hear, it's really, it, it sounds rough, but it's not, it's the pattern that I'm rubbing because it's got such a, a deep pattern that it, you can actually feel it outside of the paint where the paisley pattern is sticking out. So, but it's actually smooth. My daughter was like actually shocked. She wants to save it for her wedding. And we're going to use it as like a, um, like a bride and groom, either sweetheart table or a special entryway table, or I'm sorry, a settee, a sitting area, um, possibly for taking pictures with the bride and groom or sitting at the table. We're not sure yet, but I just want to show you that don't be afraid to try it. It will work. So by the time I'm done this and it's complete, I'll come back on and I'll show like a updated episode of it. Put some more in here. It's Mother's Day. I hope everybody had a good one. I went out to eat with my kids and now I should be in bed for work because it's late but when you get quiet time sometimes this is the best time to take advantage of it and that's what I'm doing so here we go more down here so I'm gonna let this dry for the night and that way, when I come back with the coat that I'm going to do permanently, it'll be a lot easier, of course, to put it on. You wouldn't want to put it on while it's still damp over top of the, another color. And then I'm hoping to possibly use the redesign Prima Stamps. And I'm thinking possibly of putting the cherub angel like center here, right here, I believe, or there's this other, I don't know what design you would call it. I'd have to actually have the stamp to show you, but either way, I'm thinking like one here and possibly here and here to give it more of a French look. I'm not sure yet. Sort of like the buffet I'm working on. Let's see if I can show you a sneak peek of that one. I'm almost done. But she's one of my favorites. I love the wood with the white. So you can see some of it. You see the pretty stamps. <clears throat> so I'm thinking of using possibly the cherubs or the angel on the center and then there's like there's this style there's another style here there's the flower scroll here there's the chain link looking stuff here there's another stamp here that I haven't posted yet it will be for sale eventually just haven't gotten around to sharing it yet and doing it. Oh, see, you can see the back of the couch. So I have quite a bit of work ahead of me. It's a lot of painting. <laughs> so hopefully it won't take too long.
Okay, I'll turn this back down this way. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoy and you had a good Mother's Day. And I'll be back to share. Thank you for watching. Let me see. Look at this. Check this out. I got my cool remote. I don't even have to leave the seat and it'll shut it off. All right, guys. Peace out from Terry's Tweet Teaks. Hold up. It didn't work. Hey, my remote didn't work. Hmm. All right, okay. So it played me like a fool. I don't know why it didn't work. I got this with my tripod and it works on the other video. All right, guys, let's see. How do I stop this? All right.